Tonight is week one of the rehearsals for the Deloitte League of Rock. So week one has an amazing challenge of all these guys finally getting in a room together and actually trying to make music. Daddy's being a rock star is what we're called. It was between that and Jane's addiction. So. <laughs> Double-sided and color-coded. There's one, one band that has uh, color-coded uh, Excel spreadsheets, which is really impressive. Another band has it all on an iPad. Another band hasn't even started to think about what they're called. So it, we have a great spread of, of experiences here. Everything I see so far has uh, shows me that people are committed. There's a lot of question of competition. Well, it's not a competition. There's a competition element to it, but I want to reinforce that it's about you guys making good music. And I want you all to win. One of the things that, that marks the first three weeks is, is a real question of unpredictability. And because these are people who don't normally play music, period, let alone play music together, let alone play music every week, working towards a show, there's a lot of pressure, and pressure often means we can't predict how something's going to go. We've done this so many times that we can now say that, pretty predictably, weeks one to three, people will wonder, why did I do this? Why am I thinking I could do this? And by week five, once they've played on stage together and they you know, have a bit of blood, sweat and tears as a band, then they, they know exactly why they do it. So they can, they can make music together and play through. Tonight we have um, Jim Gillard, who is an amazing producer, drummer, and vocalist, as well as Michael White, who is uh, from Q107 and Michael White and the White. And along with myself, Topher Stott, we're walking the bands through their uh, paces now. Horse with No Name, that's a pretty easy one to sing. Uh, a lot of background harmonies, though. Heart of Gold is pretty easy. Moon Dance can be difficult for that arrangement. It's got sax and flute in it. You want to pick songs that are going to suit your singers and we can change the background band to match that, right? So the challenge of picking a song is it's always a question of balancing between what the, what the vocalist can do, because if the vocalist doesn't sound great, chances are the tune's not going to sound great and the audience won't understand it. The Bittersweet Symphony, I don't know, it's a bit... Mellow? No, mellow is fine. It's just, it's, it's, it's a song built on a string chord played by yeah. 26 people. That's a project song. A good rhythm section helps. I've heard a couple good drummers, which is important. And it's also important to make sure that you match the vibe of the people with the vibe of the band. If someone is timid when they sing, chances are they're not going get to get away with singing Ozzy. But they might get away with singing Sheryl Crow. Always challenges in picking the tunes, for sure. It's going to rock. And by the time the show arrives, you guys are all going to be just rock stars. You're going to be out there rocking. I want to make sure of that. They're going to make some good music. And I hear some good potential, some interesting personal dynamics. Let's, let's put it that way. This is actually a pretty promising week one, all things told. I went from being a guy